Hi, Mike Delisio from Solo Mode Games. Today, I'd like to present a solo playthrough of Little Circuses, a game designed by Kevin Wilson and published by IDW Games. Little Circuses is a game that is new, but uh, seems to have flown under the radar a little bit. It's a game that uh, I haven't seen talked about very much or uh, reviewed very much, but it's, a, it's an interesting game with a very versatile player count. It plays from one to seven players, and that's a very odd uh, range to see and uh, welcome, in my opinion. This is a game, uh, obviously, with a circus theme, kind of a whimsical art style and uh, family weight. It can be played by most types of gamers. It's probably just above a, uh, a gateway game, maybe a gateway plus type of a game. And it's a, an action selection game with a little bit of a spatial uh, element to it. Uh, it. Pretty simple to play. I think you'll see that here when we go to the table. It's a game that uh, plays very quickly. And uh, let's just go ahead and go to the table and take a look. Okay, here we have our starter setup for the solo game of Little Circuses. In this game, you are trying to get the most fame by putting on the most spectacular circus for your audience members. And you're gonna do this by performing particular actions, different attractions uh, that you're gonna be adding to your circus that are gonna gain audience members that you can then uh, use to gather fame as you're going from city to city. The game works on a pretty simple system. Each turn, you're gonna be moving John, the ringmaster here, from space to space, and depending on what is depicted on the space, you're gonna be doing a particular series of actions. These yellow spaces that have the giraffe are known as full days, and I'll explain that in a moment. These blue ringmaster spots are half days, where you're gonna be doing half of what you normally do on a full day. You've got one space here, which is going to be where you're changing the starter attraction tiles, which are gonna be seated, uh, they're actually random. I'll be pulling them from this bag, and you'll be replacing them with these uh, advanced tiles. So once you get there, instead of using the tiles in this bag, you'll be drawing from that stack. These three spaces are where you're gonna be drawing star attraction cards that give you either immediate or ongoing abilities. And then you've got new cities that you're going to be visiting. And when you go to a new city, you're going to be able to remove what are called used markers from attractions that you've already done because people in new towns haven't seen those attractions before. So they're not going to be bored by them. They're gonna be ready to uh, move on. I think we've shifted a little bit here. There we go. And uh, they're gonna be ready to see those attractions again. Okay, you start off the game with your Circus board, these are your starting four attractions, and each of them have actions that are associated with it. Uh, I'll explain all of these actions to you briefly in just a moment, but this is your starting four, okay? Um, then I randomly drew out of the bag five starter attractions that are in my hand. They have not been built onto my circus yet. That's a particular action that I can take. Uh, we start with $5.00 and we start with one audience member in our bleacher in the two spot. It goes two, four, six, and eight. And those can be, as you move audience members into the higher, better sections of the bleachers, they're either going to give you more fame, which are basically your victory points, or they're gonna give you more money, all right? So on a full day, you're gonna do two different things. You're going to uh, build, and then you're gonna perform. On your building, you have three options. You can either gain $2, you can draw a new tile, or you can purchase one of the tiles from your hand and place them into your circus by paying the associated cost in the upper right, in this case, $3. All right, so that's your building. You can get $2, draw a new tile, or build uh, one of your in-tile attractions onto your circus. Then you can perform, which is where you're going to move your spotlight token, which is right here, onto a new attraction and perform the actions from left to right. So let's talk about those actions briefly here. There's a little bit of an errata here, as you can kind of see. I just taped on the correct. These were transposed. You have the elephant here and the 
clown here and it's the other way around. When you do a tent action, you basically can draw one tile from the pool, all right? When you do the clown action, you can move an audience member one space to the right. So in this case, I only have one audience member, I'd be able to remove him to the four. If there was a tile like this, where there are two symbols, I could do that twice. I can move him once and then another time. If, however, I had two audience members, let's even say here or even here, I can move one to the right and then the other one to the right if I wanted to, or I could just move one twice, all right? The elephant allows you, you may, remove an audience member from your bleacher board and gain fame equal to its value. So for example, if I had this audience member here and I did a elephant action, I would remove that from the board and gain eight fame. This is simply gain $1. The ticket will allow you to place an audience member onto the two space of your bleacher board. The money works similarly to the elephant with the uh, difference being that when you remove an audience member from your bleacher board, instead of getting fame equal to its value, you'll get money equal to its value. And the stars are simply gain one fame. Okay? So those are the actions you can take. Uh, I think you'll see pretty quickly how the game goes. It's, it's quite uh, simple, but um, there are some choices to be made. So first thing we're going to do is opening night. Opening night is basically you choose one of these four attractions on your starting board and you place your spotlight token on it and do the associated actions. The uh, rule book suggests that you go to the cotton candy vendor first and you get yourself two bucks. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll place it there. I'll immediately get $2. So now I've got $7 to work with and we move to our full day. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I believe I am going to, I'd like to get a yellow tile out there because one of the end game bonuses is you get 10 fame for every complete set of five different colored attractions. And I start with four. Yellow is the only color that I don't have out in my starting set. So it, I think it behooves me to go ahead and put a yellow tile out. This is going to... Uh, guarantee me 10 points at the end of the game. So I pay my $2, and now I perform. I move my spotlight, uh, it has to be to an orthogonally adjacent uh, attraction, so I'll move it there. This attraction is closed, the audience has already seen it, they're bored with it, and so now we move on. First thing that this tile does is it allows me to draw a tile, then I'm going to add an audience member to the two spot, and I'm gonna gain a fame. So I will do that. Now I will randomly draw a tile out of the bag here. This one is a $2 tile that allows me to draw another tile and move an audience member forward. Place that in hand. Put an audience member on the two spot of my bleachers and gain my first fame. All right, next full day, I'm doing the same thing. Uh, I still have plenty of money. I think I'm going to yeah, let's go ahead and build right there. It's going to cost me $2. All right, now I'm going to perform. Close this out. Draw another tile. All right. And I will be able to move one audience member to the slightly better seats. All right. Full day here. Let's I still have three dollars. Let's go ahead and get another blue out here. I can place it up here. Where you place does matter because you, you can kind of create a nice set of chaining action, so to speak. So I'll go ahead and do that. I can remove one of these two audience members and get the uh, money for it. I think I'll take off the two, and then I get a fame point. Full day. Um, let's do mm, this one. I'll build this for one. I'm going to get it right back when I perform there. And then I draw a tile. This is a blue. 
All right. Full day. I think I'm going to come down here. I get two clown actions, so I'll move him up twice to the eight spot. All right. We're going to take out. These tiles are now not in the pool. Now we go to the advanced tiles right over here. All right. Now we move to the star attraction. So let me quickly show you what these cards can do. This one, the amazing, the amazing push you pull me, you can immediately spend up to $10 for an equal amount of fame or vice versa. I don't have enough fame or money to make this card interesting to me at this point. The Pretzelini Brothers, you can immediately get three new tiles to add to hand or add two audience members to the two spot. That might be nice. Mesmeris, the master of the mind. Take a tile of your choice from the player to your left or right, play that pay that player the cost, and then immediately add it to your circus. In the solo game, it doesn't say anything in the rule book about this, but I'm assuming in the solo game you're just going to be taking a tile from the uh, supply and paying that cost. So this one really isn't all that interesting to me. Itsy Betsy, each fame that you resolve is worth two instead of one, except when you're getting that fame from the... Uh, uh, I'm assuming they mean, yeah, I'm assuming they mean the uh, elephant here because this wouldn't apply. Um, that must be another errata, but it would only apply on tiles where you're getting the fame, okay? This would be good late in the game. Ralph the Janitor, I know, has an errata where every one of these uh, clown symbols should be elephant. So basically, you can immediately remove two audience members for their fame or one for money and one for fame or two for money, all right. Madam Adam, you immediately will draw a tile, and when drawing tiles, you may draw four uh, from the face of tiles, and I just forgot that I'd done something. I'll, I'll do it here in a moment. Each tile you draw is immediately replaced. So that did remind me, when I did this, when I switched over, I was supposed to do something first. Draw four randomly to place over here and then I was also supposed to get two for myself randomly for my hand so I'm glad that I went over these cards to remind me so basically if you choose the Madam Adam card uh, you can immediately draw a tile and it could be from there in the solo game it doesn't really much apply in the multiplayer game those could be tiles that would be contested over and if you had this you'd be able to choose from though you'd be the only one to be able to choose from those four on the right um, so that's not probably what I'm going to do right now. And then Mongo Bongo allows you, when you're performing, you can resolve any action icon on the tile twice, uh, a second time. And that could be pretty powerful uh, as well. So which one of these do I want to choose? I think early on, I need to get... I'm going to go ahead and take Mongo Bongo. That's, that's a pretty powerful thing. It allows you to perform a particular action twice. Uh, potentially. All right, so now we move to Small Bird, our first new town. So we got to take all of these used tokens off of our circus because this new city hasn't seen any of these attractions. So it's new, fresh, and exciting for them. All right, first full day in Small Bird. Uh, I've only got two dollars. So um, let's see here. Do I want to raise funds? I might want to raise funds and start getting some money. All right, so I'll get $2, raise funds. Now I'm going to perform. I think I'm going to come down here so I can get some more money, or do I want to add some audience members? I think I'm going to need money to get these tiles out. So I'll come down here. I get $2. So that basically that day gave me $4. That's closed up. Move down to the next full day. Now I can purchase, let's, oh, I'd love to get some audience members here, so I can go over here and do that. Let's do this. Let's purchase this one for four. I'll place it there. Now we're going to perform, and I get a tile. I get an audience member in the two spot, and I get a fame. All right, full day. Let's go, well, first I can purchase 
one of these cheapies if I want. Oh, uh, with my Mongo Bongo, I actually could have performed one of these twice. So let's go ahead and put another audience member on there. Um, okay, uh, let's purchase which one of these? I've got three reds out there already, so let's get another purple out there. Let's purchase this one for one. Let's perform. I've got three movements of audience members, so let's go one, two, and sure, why not? Let's go three. I'm going to use my Mongo Bongo for an extra fame action, so instead of two, I'll do three. Okay, full day. Um, do I want to build or do I want to graze funds? I'm not seeing a lot of money here. I could put this, well, I can't quite put that one down. I could, yeah, I think I need to get some money. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise funds, get my two bucks. I'm going to go ahead and build this one here. There goes my three bucks. Now I'm going to perform. And I'm going to do this twice with my Mongo Bongo. I'm going to remove one. Now I can do that twice and I'd be able to get 18 or 16 bucks right there, which really that might be my best interest for the long term. So let's do that. Let's do that twice. Remove both of these from the board. $16. Five, that's 15 and one is 16. That's a lot of money and then I get one fame point. All right. Consequently, I could, or conversely, I could have kept one there and removed that one for two, but I really feel like I'm, I'm hurting for money. So here we do a, our first half day, which means that I can either build or perform. I can either construct or perform. And at this point, there's really nowhere I can perform because uh, the only place that's adjacent to me is closed. So I need to construct and I've got plenty of money to do so. So let's put out, I've got plenty of blues. I'd really like, to, well, I could draw a tile and I may want to do that. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to draw a tile as my one and hope to get something other than red. I did get a green. That's good because I need to get some more greens out here for potential end game scoring. All right, so that was my one. Star attraction, all right. So, let's see here. I'm thinking I might want to go for the Pretzellini brothers and immediately get a couple of audience members because I cleared two of them out with that last turn. So here they come into the cheap seats and now we move to Midtown and we clear off our used tokens. And now we go to the full day. All right, so now I'm gonna build. Um, uh, yeah, I'd like to move some people over. Um, hmm. Let's just do this first. Okay, build that for three. Now I'm gonna perform. I get two fame, one, two, two new tiles, but I'm gonna use the Mongo Bongo, so I'm gonna get three of those. So one, two, and three. Take a look at these tiles. I bet I'm covering up a little bit. There you go, all right. So now we're to our next full day. Let's build because I've got the money to do so. I've got one yellow out, so I'd like to get another yellow out for end game scoring. So I'm going to put that here. Four. Then I'll come over here to perform. And I'm going to use my clown twice with the Mongo Bongo. And I'm going to go one and 
two. All right. Next full day. Uh, I want to build because I'm going to come up here and then I'm probably going to go this way. So let's build. I've got a lot of purples out there. I'd like to get this green out there for end game scoring. There's two greens actually. Yeah, we'll do this. Build that for three. We're going to come up here to perform. All right, we're going to do the elephant action. Uh, probably going to do that twice. So I'm going to take that, remove that. It's going to give me six fame. I'm going to remove that. It's going to give me two more. It's going to give me eight fame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two more fame here. All right, now we go to the half day. I'm going to go ahead and perform for my half day. I'm going to get three audience members and two bucks, but I'm going to use that twice, one of these twice, so I'm going to get four audience members. With my Mongo Bongo ability. And then uh, I'll get two bucks. Another half day here. Uh, I have to, I can't perform because I'm closed off, so I'm going to build something. Let's build, let's see, I've got three blues, I've got only two yellows. Do I want to draw? Try to get another yellow. I've also only got two greens, so maybe just go ahead and build this green, although it doesn't do much. I, I have money, although, I don't know, money can always be tight. So let's go ahead and build this for two. Now we've got star attraction. I'm going to go ahead at this point and grab Itsy Betsy and hope that I can start getting some tiles with a lot of fame on them. All right, Bigopolis, clear off the used tiles. And our, you can see we're close to the end of the game here. Full day, all right. Let's build, um, do I wanna build or do I wanna draw? I think I might wanna draw. I want to, I'd really love to get a yellow because I've got, let's see, I've got three red, three purple, three blue, three green, and two yellow. So I really like to get another yellow here. And look at that. I lucked out. I got a yellow. That's fantastic. All right. So now I'm going to perform. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to get... Now, which one of these do I want to use twice? Probably one of the stars because I can combo that with Itsy Betsy. So um, I'm going to get two fame for that one, two fame for that one. I'm going to do it again with Mongo Bongo, two fame for that one, and then I get two tiles. All right. Keep covering those up. Moving lots of audience members forward. That would be a good one to get out because I've got... Audience members sitting there in the cheap seats. Last full day. Let's go. Do I want to get another? I'm trying to think here. Is there a way to get another full set? I don't. I'm. I'm not sure. I'm gonna be able to get another full set out. I've got one, two, three, four red already. One, two, three, green, and none in hand. One, two, yellows. So I need to get a yellow out. It's built. Let me go ahead and build a yellow. All right. Let's build it here. One, two, three. I think that's what I want to do. Build it here. Make sure I'm doing that right because I can perform, perform, and perform. Yeah. All right. Yellow goes there. Um, wait. Perform, perform, perform. Because I'm going to perform this turn. So there. And then three more. So maybe I want to put it over here. So I'm going to perform here on this turn. And then 
do three half days of perform, perform, and perform. Yeah, that's what I want to do. All right. Uh, so I built that for four. Now I'm going to perform here. And I'm going to do this twice. One, two, gain a buck. Now I go here. Half day, I'm going to choose to perform. I'm going to do one, two, three, and I'll do it one more time. And then two, fame. And then another half day, I'm going to perform here. Oh, actually, that should be four fame because of my Itsy Betsy, so two more. All right, so I perform here. Uh, I can turn one of these in for money. So I think I might as well just do that. I'll turn this one in for two money. And then I'm going to do that twice, which is going to actually be instead of two points, it's going to be four points because of my Itsy Betsy. One, two, three, and four. All right. Last half day, I come over here. Close that out. I'm going to do the elephant action twice. So that's going to be eight and six. It's going to be 14 fame points, which will get me to, I said 14, right? Eight and six. Yes, 14. So I add 14 to that, which is going to get me 47. And then two bucks, which could potentially matter in end game scoring, which comes right now. Okay, so end game scoring is relatively simple. I'm gonna make sure I'm catching everything here. All right, uh, 10 fame for each complete set of five differently colored. So let's see here. I've got, looks like I've got three complete sets because I've got three yellow, three blue, three purple three green and three red. So that's 30 points. 47, 57, 67, 77. So I take a 50 and 27. All right. And then I receive two fame for each $3 left unspent. One, two, three, that's two fame there. One, two, three, that's two fame there. Getting me to 81. Uh, one fame for each tile left in your hand. I've got, I'll scoot these over so you can kind of see here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then half value for each audience member left on your bleacher board. So that's gonna be worth two, and one is three. One, two, three. That gets me to exactly 90 points, which if I remember correctly is not terrific. Let's take a look on our chart here 90 points nice try nice try i'm above wimpy not quite to so close definitely not amazing and certainly not off the charts nice try well i'll take a nice try i suppose hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea on how the game is played it's a relatively simple game family weight game with some uh, pretty terrific art and a fun theme that i don't think you see uh, enough I like the circus theme, although I'm not thrilled with clowns. Uh, in this game, they don't seem to bother me too much. Um, it also actually has a very versatile player count. This goes from one player all the way up to seven. Not a lot of games that will play seven players, so uh, that uh, potentially makes it uh, something that could be good for your collection if you're looking for games with a very versatile player count. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the playthrough, got a good idea on how the game was played. Thank you so much for your time, and have a great day.